The Giotto Caspita has a pretty interesting history, and it's super fun to say. It was created by the unlikely association of the president of a Japanese women's lingerie brand and racing car builder, Dome. Giotto was the name of the company formed by these fellows, and they named this supercar the Caspita, which is an Italian expression for good heavens, among other likely inappropriate things. Speaking of names, I found that race car builder Dome translates to child's dream, which seems appropriate. Another fairly uncommon Fujimi kit is the Dome Zero, which is a wedge-shaped prototype from the 70s. I need to add this kit to the stash someday, but back to the Caspita. I'd say it was pretty far ahead of its time. In 1988, the idea of a supercar looked like this or even this. It would be a few years before those makes would evolve into something like the Caspita. The Caspita had a wind tunnel developed body made from carbon fiber with an aluminum carbon fiber Monaco chassis. The body features gull wing doors and an integrated rear spoiler that was electronically actuated. There was even an early and late version of this prototype. The most obvious difference being the headlights and the taillights with the earlier version being depicted by the Fujimi kit, which to me is way cooler. The original Caspita had a very exotic power plant. It features a Subaru 1235 flat 12 Boxer engine, displacing 3.5 liters. This is likely how they came about that number system. The engine was designed to go Formula One racing and did so by 1990, but that was a disaster with it only qualifying for one race, and it was unable to start due to an engine failure on the starting line. So let's have a look at the Giotto Caspita. Box art is quite attractive. A nice illustration of the car. And some um, very cool looking Star Trek like font. Caspita Chico. Powered by Super to establish that. It's 124th scale. It's a cool interior. Shows a picture of the engine. Is by Fujimi. And there's a bunch of that. It is reproduce the actual vehicle in a realistic manner. That's what all that says. Yep. No date on it. So let's see what we got. The instructions. What does that say? Stop and read that if you want, but it says this is expected to be put on the market very shortly. Will doubtlessly establish a remarkable position in the history of sports cars in Japan. I don't know about that. Look at that. Look. Parts. We have the clear parts. A really neat uh, one piece cockpit windshield thing. There's a clear rear window. And those cool headlights. Just coming off screw, but that's still sealed for our pleasure. Um, this kit is a curbside. So engraving is pretty good. It's just so hard to look at it, of course. Nice sh shockolators. Headlight buckets, some suspension, tie rod, windshield wiper. There's that kind of weird steering wheel. So there's some kind of intercoolers. The mirrors, that is interesting. It's supposed to have these really weird mirrors. 
but it doesn't work like that. So there's that sprue. And this sprue is filled in its wrapper. It's a one piece interior tub sort of thing. Some stylish seats. Even more stylish dash. Door panels. There is some form of that engine. Some disc brakes. Some bundles. Oh, those are fun. They are clearly marked L and R. And some other kind of piece. Wheels and tires. Those are pretty neat. Nice tires. Ooh, got some screenage. Some poly caps. Everybody's favorite poly caps. And it even comes with some wire. Look at the instructions and find out why. Decals. They're kind of looking. I don't know, those might be still okay. Speed air. And window masking templates. This is printed paper. Because, you know, back then we didn't get those fancy ones. And then get the body. I've already messed around with this. You get the one piece monocoque. Nicely molded with just a little bit of swirl in it. Paint nice. And then there's the body. That's pretty cool. One piece spoiler? Or no? I guess that is. That is molded like that. That's some pretty high tech molding to pull that off. So I don't think that's glued. I didn't glue it. How do you get plastic to inject through there? That's pretty neat. Um, I had actually considered this model for the under uh, under a thousand group build, and it almost became the levitating car. But I thought that the um, the Maserati, you know, it's not as the Maserati wasn't as good as the kit as this is. So maybe someday I'll build this. I don't know. Maybe. Pretty basic. Kind of colors. Typical silvers, flat blacks. Shine red. What would be the difference between flat black and metal black? What is that? Oh, Rimmel dark gray. Some more Chinese. Please read and follow directions. I'm not good at that. And see, they even show you where to run some of those wires and how to paint that one piece engine because you do see it under the clear glass. It's in the back. It's some kind of thing with a knife icon to cut that out. We've already done that at some point. There's that clear window and you'll see the engine back there. It shows you how to paint the tail lights and snap the body on. Screen for in there. Pretty neat kit. Caspito Giotto. It is fun to say. So, if you got one, build it. Tell me about it. You like what you see here? Be sure to comment, share, subscribe. You guys know what to do because I have all kinds of model car stories to tell. Thanks for watching.